So I recently put a post out on Instagram to say I'm looking to change the 140 in the next six months or so and hopefully find a new replacement car or project for the channel. So I'm joined here today with Wes's BMW E92 M3 and he's going to be taking me out in this because I've never actually been in one and I think this will help me sort of work out what car I want to get next. Now, I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to get one of these as my next project, but please do let me know in the comment section down below or on Instagram. Drop me a message and give me some ideas of what car I could get. Maybe a project car. It could be something completely different. But yeah, do let me know. I'm happy. I'm open to sort of ideas. But don't worry, the 140 will be staying for a, a, definitely a few months. But when I buy my next used car, I'm going to be checking it out using Car Vertical. Now, buying the right used car can save you time and money, whereas buying the wrong car can cause you quite a headache. Now, Car Vertical provides vehicle history checks on any car and motorcycle. All you need is is the VIN number or the registration. So if you look on screen here, this is my old M140i, which as you guys know, did get smashed into. So on the Recar Vertical report, it's showing that it's got no mileage discrepancies, it's not been stolen, but it does come up with a uh, exclamation mark next to accident. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, it's also saying here that it's no outstanding finance. So if you scroll down here, it gives you like the live um, activity. So it shows you when it's like had MOTs, what the failures were. It says here that the license plate was changed from the SC67 CYP to T600 BNB, which is obviously my plate. And it goes through the whole history here. Now if you scroll down a bit more, it shows that it's not stolen in any of these countries. And look, if you look at the mileage graph, it all looks okay. So yeah, it's not been clocked back at all. So if you scroll down here, it actually says the damage report. So it does say it was damaged in the UK and it was a category S write-off. And even on some reports, it shows you the crash damage auction site photos. So for example, on this BMW M4, it shows it's had an accident. If you scroll down and click on photos, you'll see all the photos from the accident. And on this report, there's even photos of it after the repairs. So now let's have a look at a clean report. And this is my current M140i. And as you can tell, it's green ticks for everything. Mileage, theft, accidents and finance. Everything's completely clear. The, the activity feed is all clear. The only thing that comes up is it's had a registration change but everything else is completely clear. If you want to go ahead and check out Car Vertical, make sure you use my link in the description and use code BB10 for some money off. So, if you're a long-term viewer of my channel, you'll know exactly who I'm about to show you because you might recognize it from this funny clip. <laughs> and he's back on the channel, here he is. So, this is your new beast. You've That's upgraded it. from the 235, haven't you? Exactly. Give us a little walkthrough. What do you want to know, Brett? It's pretty standard. It is pretty standard, but it's, it's classy. It's I like it. Power bulge with no power. Yeah. It's got a, um, a Toyo Sports exhaust. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, it's meant to be quite loud, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. And you've just had the actuators done, haven't you? Yeah, actually, it's just done and bearings pretty soon. Yeah, cool. Because uh, it's in need of them. Yeah. It's around that mileage. Yeah, look at this thing. It's an absolute beast. Inside as well, it is like immaculate. I was just saying on the way here, like, it doesn't, like, even the gloss black trims, they must have been recently polished or something because they're ridiculously clean. But yeah, at the minute, cosmetically, it's very standard, but the exhaust definitely isn't. Right, let's do a start up. <laughs> that is mental, it's not even cold. That is so loud. Whoa, what? Uh, it goes down into pretty much a straight pipe, so 
no cats, no primary, no secondary cat, no resonators, and then into a mod stock back box, which I think is a four pipe mod. Right, okay, so this engine is basically straight pipe to a modified back box. Yeah, which basically. is pretty much a straight pipe. Pretty much box. straight pipe. Well, yeah, it sounds like a straight pipe. Yes, yeah. That is ridiculously loud, and this is inside. Have you ever yeah. heard it outside, like being yeah, outside? It's, yeah, it travels. Well, yeah, that felt quick enough. Yeah, it's like, not. It's you're not gonna slow. take some track on that. You don't want it stupid oh, exactly. quick. You yeah. want to use all the power. It's usable power. Yeah. What's your plans for it? What's your um, brakes? Big brakes because these are rubbish. Yeah. Um, Tell me that now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but not yeah. if you want to drive it really hard. Um, wheels, tires, some nice apexes or something. Yeah. Some big wide tires. Yeah. Coilovers probably eventually. Half cage and buckets, maybe. Oh, really? You're gonna yeah. go full set? I think so. It's only a weekend thing, so. Yeah. Might as well. Oh my. Oh, oh that is dirty, that. Yeah. That's a passenger, anyway. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you sort of say, what your ideas are. over and Wes has actually allowed me to have a quick spin so let's see what this is like. Right the GoPro's died over there so we have to use my main camera to get a, the front end shot. Okay. Ready, just driving around like this, it just feels like it's a lot plant a lot more planted than my car. Oh mate, that really shot you back there. You can really feel it there. <laughs> mate, my car just like doesn't give me this like first. Do you know what I mean? My car, I've had my car for so long now, it just doesn't give me this yeah. buzz anymore. It just feels way more connected to the road. That's so like cliche, but it just does, do you know what I mean? Has, yeah. Like the, the, the power the instant. I think the steering does a lot as well. Yeah, the steering does it's do a lot. Hydraulic. You can actually feel yeah. the road. It's, yeah. like the... Oh, mate. That was so good. <laughs> mate, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. So there we have it. That is my first sort of experience in a BMW M3. Could you see me in one of these? Let me know. I'm open to sort of opinions, but yeah. Massive thank you to Wes for taking me out. Really do appreciate it. What a weapon. This thing is incredible. I'm just thinking if I did get one, what content could I do on it? I've got to think of all these sort of things. But once again, a massive thank you to Car Vertical for sponsoring the video. Make sure you keep the link in the description to that and also use my discount code. But other than that, make sure you leave a like, rain, comment and subscribe and I shall catch you guys very, very soon in a brand new video.